It's not unusual for a college-age student to spend hours playing a guitar video game, but the fact that Ian Burkhardt is doing it is nothing short of incredible. Paralyzed from the neck down in a diving accident in 2010, Ian couldn't move a finger. Now it's just something that's so fluid, it's just kind of like it, w it was before I had my injury, where I just think about what I want to do, and now I can do it. Ian made international headlines in 2014, <laughs> becoming the first paralyzed patient to move his hand using his own thoughts. That day, he simply picked up a spoon. Today, he's not only playing video games, but pouring objects from a cup and swiping credit cards, all with the aid of this sleeve, a computer chip, and a movement algorithm developed by Battelle that Ian controls with his brain. Several years after the spinal cord injury, his level of functioning has improved significantly so he's able to have more use of his fingers and hands to do functional tasks which has not been demonstrated before. In 2014, neurosurgeon Ali Rezai implanted a computer chip in Ian's brain at the Ohio State University Wexner Medical Center. That chip is connected to wires that come from Ian's head and are hooked to this sleeve to create a neural bypass. For more than a year, Ian has made dozens of trips back to Ohio State for therapy with a team of physicians and Battelle engineers. Each time, computers read his thoughts, decode them, and send messages to the sleeve to move his muscles. The results of Ian's remarkable progress are detailed in a new study in the journal Nature. And though it may sound like science fiction, the more Ian and the computer work together, the more they learn to listen to each other, taking even researchers by surprise. This is possible. You can take someone, a human being who is paralyzed, and give them the ability to use that paralyzed limb again in a functional way. Researchers hope this technology can be used to help a range of patients in the future, including stroke victims. It is often very difficult uh, for patients to regain movement in the hand and arm area. So this technology will help speed that recovery and make that rehabilitation much more effective. And Ian is optimistic his efforts will lead to medical advances that change lives forever. I have a lot more hope for the future now. I always knew maybe someday something would happen, but now I know for sure that something actually is happening. At Ohio State's Wexner Medical Center, this is Clark Powell reporting.